Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So another in our series of setting up our joystick and hotas controls for aircraft. Today we're on the MI8. So I have as my hotas an X56 Rhino. You will almost certainly have something different. But as I set the controls up, I'll describe where they are on the HOTAS, whether they're on the left or the right or whatever. So you can duplicate as close as you can to my setup if you like. If you then go and watch our uh, tutorials for the aircraft, it will help if you've got the same setup. Another thing to note, as I always like to say, if you've got lots of different aircraft like me, then try and keep your controls as uniform as possible. So if you've got, I don't know, say an air brake uh, button in one plane, make that an air brake button in all of your planes to keep them as similar as possible. Otherwise, you'll end up going a bit crazy. Right, let's set this MI8 up. We're going to controls here. Uh, sorry, options. Controls here. And and this here, select the MI8 if you can find it. The one you want is MI8 TV2 SIM. Okay, uh, so we've got the action on this column here. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of actions. Incredibly overly complicated helicopter. However, setting the controls up is actually really easy. So um, at least that's easy. Here is the category that the action belongs to. Here is the keyboard command that's bound to that action. Here is the left HOTAS. Um, command that's bound to that action. And when I say left HOTAS, I mean the thrust stick side of the HOTAS. Here is the right HOTAS, or the control stick side of the HOTAS, and that's it. So let's get cracking. First thing we want to start with is the axis command. So this box here, axis commands. Scroll down. Now I've already got mine set up, obviously, because I've been messing around with the MA8. So we're just going to basically essentially tape over uh, the controls that I've got. First thing you will want is zoom view in axis. I'm going to put it on my left HOTAS, my thrust stick. I'm going to highlight it here in the left HOTAS column, double click with the mouse. And then what I'm going to do, I've got a turning knob on the top of my left uh, thrust stick. I'm going to turn it. It's detected it. And OK. And then we can test it. Um, and the zoom view allows us to zoom in and out. It's something you need, otherwise it's pretty much impossible to do anything uh, mission wise right next we're going to do our collective uh, essentially the, similar to the thrust in an in a jet uh, we're going to use just just thrust stick on the left hotas so double click there push thrust stick forward backwards okay test it and we're all good next we're going to do the rudder um, you will probably have some rudder pedals for this that you can buy I don't have them because I have bad legs so I'm going to use the twist in my right HOTAS control stick. Double click here on the right control stick column. Twist right, twist left. Picked it up. OK, test. Lovely. And axis tuned. Anything um, in the rudder or the cyclic you'll want to axis tune. Um, so I add a curve of 25. And you can see I'm moving the control stick now. Adding the curve gives me... Um, a bit more resolution, a bit more detail around the lower end of the movement and less detail around the higher end of the movements like that. So it's going to allow you to do easier to do small movements, formation flying, picking up cargo, stuff like that. So it's something you will want. I do 25. You can decide on your own curve. Um, cyclic roll, double click. My stick left, my stick right. So it's picked up my cyclic roll. OK, test. Axis tune, exactly the same, 25. OK. Cyclic pitch, uh, double click, stick forwards and backwards. OK. Test. Tune, 25. And that will do. OK. <clears throat> so that's that set up. Now let's start moving on to the more binary commands. Uh, so we're going to start with our basic auto start and auto stop. Very useful if you um, haven't got time to do a full cold start procedure. So what I've done is gone to search here and this allows us to search for any command. I'm going to put start in here. Auto start there. I'm going to bind it to an iron control on the top right of the base of my left HOTAS there. And now we're going to look for stop. And we've got auto stop there and another uh, iron control on the base there okay next we're going to look at the autopilot which i want on the left hotas <clears throat> so here we're going to type uh what should we try typing to get this try pilot 
as you can see there are millions of autopilot commands so we're just going to pick out the ones that we really want um, so I've got a four-way switch on the right side of my left hotest thrust stick and I want to bind uh, some controls to that uh, it's just the natural place for me to have it so one thing we want is autopilot um, sorry autopilot altitude channel on that's something we are going to want um, so we're going to double click here on the left hotest category and see we're going to have it there so it's the up position of that four-way switch that we were talking about another the next thing i want is the autopilot heading channel on uh just something we want and i'm going to have it in the down whoops the down position with that four-way control and another thing we want is excuse me just a second ah there it is turn autopilot off and i'm going to have it to the remaining two if you like the forwards and backwards uh, controls of this four-way switch so forwards and I can go in again and add backwards so I've got a four-way switch now that does um, two of the movements do autopilot off one of the movements does roll pitch uh, sorry one of the movements does heading one of the movements does altitude and we'll show that in the autopilot tutorial um, how to use that uh, the last thing we need is an autopilot roll pitch channel on um, it's something it's like a stabilization system and it's something you're always going to want to have on and you want to be able to select this in an emergency again we'll explain why in the flight in the flight takeoff and landing tutorials so i'm going to bind it to my standard autopilot on off button on the right side of my uh, thrust stick that's easy to get to bosh there we go okay so that is that that's all of the left side of the hose has done which is lovely and easy <clears throat> Whoops, I just remembered that I forgot one. Uh, search dispense. Uh, uh, the countermeasures dispense and stop dispensing we'll need, which we're going to scroll down here. UV26 start and stop dispensing. And I'm going to have that as my, it's a two way switch. I use a chaff and flare. I'm going to use up as start dispensing, down as stop dispensing. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the right side of the hotel test, the control stick. We're going to go weapon. Um, we're going to do some weapons. So first of all, weapon release. We want as our main trigger, trigger number one, on our right hotel control stick there, like so. And um, the we want our second trigger, because these uh, hotesses have multiple triggers, is going to be our bomb release. Trigger two. Okay. The next one we want, I have a standard four-way hat switch on the top right of my control stick right at HOTAS and I use it for trimming. So I'm going to type trimmer. There it is. Trimmer button. Um, it's a four-way switch and just because of how I'm used to it, I'm going to have up on that four-way switch as the trimmer and I'm also going to have down as the trimmer. They do, they do the same thing basically, those two, those two buttons, but it's just uh, in case I forget whether it's up or down okay that is that next we're going to look at the wheel brakes so we'll whoops there we go we want um i have a control at the very front of my right hodes control stick and i like to have that as wheel brakes in all of my aircraft so that there and near there i have a noseable steering button uh, in the same position on the front of the stick we don't have noseable steering what but what we can do is add it as parking brake that you will need parking brake so do that okay and we've only got one more control i told you it was easy um it's going to be um master no what's it called uh master arm arm uh that's not the easiest way of finding this uh, okay yeah arm does get there scroll down the bottom weapon safe arm uh, it's hard to get to in the cockpit so you'll want this bound to something and i've got a button on the left of my right control stick that i'm going to have as that master arm on okay right so that should the basic skeleton keys as uh, to set up the mi8 now you can go and add um extra commands if you want that's fine and also one thing to point out if you want to do cargo sling loading you will need some extra uh, uh commands set up but rather than show them now what we're going to do is show them in the um cargo sling loading tutorial uh the buttons to set up right i hope that helps and we'll see you later